It's wondrous how many things happened yesterday. Just impossible to express them in a few words. Guys, do a good deed. Advise our channel to your good football bro. Maybe he will like it and subscribe. Just share this video with your mate, okay? Let's drop many likes to this episode. We are confident that the 10,000 mark of likes can be achievable for you. In the comments below, write the first owner of the Ballon d'Or in the history of football. Let's put your football knowledge to the test. And while you're writing, we are about to start. Let's get going! Real Madrid doesn't want to pay 150 to 175 million euros for Holland. The club won't try to outbid competitors' offers. Chelsea conceded two goals for the first time under Tuchel, as seven games no conceding run was interrupted. West Bromwich has netted five goals against the Blues. We are all to blame for that, including me. Chelsea made gross mistakes and we were severely punished, Thomas Tuchel said after the game. Real Madrid hasn't lost in 11 matches, 9 wins and 2 draws. Next up is the game against Liverpool. Benzema finished in a clean 4th place in terms of goals for Real Madrid in La Liga. The Frenchman has 187 goals. Ronaldo, Raul and Di Stefano are ahead of him. Ronaldo has scored 24th goal in his 25 Serie A appearances this season. Cristiano is the top scorer of the Italian Championship. Bayern scores for 62 games in a row. It is a new record for the German clubs. Man City remains to get 11 points in 7 games to become the next champion of England. Neymar has been sent off 3 times in his last 14 Liga 1 appearances. Both Azar and Valverde have good chances of getting into the squad for the match against Liverpool, Zinedine Zidane said. Liverpool has lost their mathematical odds of winning the Premier League this season. Man United is interested in the option with the invitation of Mauro Icardi. The Argentine is seen as a replacement for Cavani, writes La Gazzetta dello Sport. Former Chelsea striker Solomon Kalou left Botafogo. This is a mutual desire of two parties. The striker of Torino, Andrea Bellotti, can continue his career in Chelsea, Corriere Granata says. Atletico wants to sign Napoli midfielder Fabian Ruiz, Nicolo Schira told. Juventus wants to return Moise Keane, informs Tuta Sport. The striker's contract belongs to Everton. PSG is also among the contenders for the player. Inter and Tottenham are close to reaching an agreement on the transfer of Skriniar, Football Insider reports. Atletico wants to get the Marseille striker Arkadiusz Milik. Juventus also claims to be the main contender for the footballer. The compensation amount is 12 million euros. Ihe Nacho has extended his contract with Leicester. The new agreement of the 24-year-old footballer with the club is calculated until 2024. Jamie Vardy made his 300th Premier League appearance for Leicester. There is nothing more pleasant than winning the Premier League. This is a very difficult tournament. Man City is close to triumph, Guardiola said. Juventus is predictable. The squad passes a lot across the pitch. We need to improve. Andrea Pirlo admitted after the match against Torino. Florentino Perez has 1,000 matches as president of Real Madrid and 26 trophies, writes the statistical Twitter account Mr. Chip. Juventus wants to partially delay the salaries for March, April, May and June, the newspaper Corriere dello Sport states. Milan is interested in Ilicic and began to contact his entourage, Milan News reports. Ashraf Hakimi is Arsenal's top priority in case Bellerin leaves, The Telegraph reports. For me, the Champions League is the best. I didn't immediately realize our triumph at the World Cup. OK, we won, we can go home, Kylian Mbappe said. Manchester United cancelled the meeting with Minoriola. The management is reluctant to discuss the potential transfer of Erling Haaland with the agent. Trent is not being called up for the national team? I was surprised. I did not understand this. England must have a very good squad, Jurgen Klopp admitted. Inter is interested in signing Manchester United centre-back Eric Bailly, according to journalist Duncan Castle. Yesterday, the top football was in the spotlight. All the results are in front of you. Now, it's time to dive into the main news of the release. Erling Haaland made his choice. According to us, the Norwegian wants to become a player of Real Madrid.
Holland's father said the matter in an interview with the executive director of the Royal Club, Jose Angel Sanchez. Moreover, according to the latest information, Madrid doesn't intend to pay the required 150 million euros. Other contenders for the striker are Barcelona, Manchester City, Liverpool, Manchester United and Chelsea. There's more news on Neymar. According to the Spanish journalist Xavi Hernandez, the Brazilian stopped negotiations with PSG on a new contract. Neymar found out that Messi plans to stay in Barca and therefore wants to play with him again, but this time in Barcelona. This information is confirmed by the authoritative Catalan journalist Gerard Romero. We are to note that Neymar's contract with PSG expires next summer, so Barca will have a chance to return the Brazilian. And now, we are down to yesterday's matches. Let's start with the Premier League and the shocking defeat of Chelsea. West Brom destroyed Tuchel's team with 5-2. Wow! Besides, it's worth noting the send-off of Thiago Silva in the 29th minute. In another important matches of the day, Liverpool battered Arsenal by a 3-0 result with a double by Jota and Salah's success. Club's team approached to the Champions League zone. In the central match of the day, Manchester City won a championship victory over Leicester, 2-0 in an away match. Goals were delivered by Benjamin Mendy and Gabriel Jesus. Guardiola and his team are getting closer to the title. We are now moving to the Bundesliga, where Dortmund continues to slip a bit and runs the risk of not qualifying for the next Champions League season. Holland and teammates lost to Eintracht by 1-2. However, that was not the main event of the match day. In the battle for the first place, Bayern defeated Leipzig 1-0 away with the only goal from Leon Goretzka. A true championship victory for Bayern. Now the Munich team is 7 points ahead of Leipzig. Next on the list we have La Liga. The main event of the day is Real's victory over Eibar, 2-0 with goals from Asensio and Benzema. Madrid beats Barcelona again. The final of the last season of the Spanish Cup was also arranged. Sociedad beat Athletic with a minimum score thanks to a penalty kick from Oyer Zabal. It is the first Spanish Cup victory for Sociedad in 34 years. Our congratulations! Serie A treated us with a number of interesting matches. Milan saved a draw in a home match against Sampdoria, 1-1. Roma failed to beat Sassuolo, 2-2. Atalanta coped with Udinese 3-2 and Napoli beat Crotone in a gangster style 4-3. The main newsmaker of the day was Juventus' squad, which is losing points again. Pirlo's team escaped the loss in the match against Torino. In the 79th minute, Ronaldo brought a draw in the Turin derby. As a result, we have 2-2. At the same time, Inter strengthened its lead thanks to a minimal victory over Bologna 0-1. The only goal was delivered by Lukaku. Yep, it seems that Inter can no longer be stopped on the way to the championship. And finally, Liga 1. Here we highlight all three results of the day. Lyon tied with Lens 1-1 and lost its third place to Monaco, which left no chances to Metz 4-0. In the central game of the match week, PSG and Lille had a meeting. And here's how it happened. Paris lost at home to a direct competitor in the fight for the championship gold. 0-1. Jonathan David scored the winner. Nevertheless, all the headlines belong to Neymar. The Brazilian frankly lost his temper in the last minutes of the match and was justly sent off for unsportsmanlike behavior. And what did Neymar do later on? He literally jumped on Thiago Jalo, the defender of Lille who made Ney to act like that in the episode, and was also sent off. Thank God, the Brazilian and the Portuguese were stopped. Guys, watch the suggested video section from our other projects, Inside Football and Top Football. Give them a try for yourself. It was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.